recently watched their proposal. The only good part about that movie is Ryan Reynolds. The girl is. <laughs> How excited are you for this movie? I'm so excited. I've never seen this movie. I've always wanted to. I'm a 90s what kid. What movie are we watching? This the... is from the 80s. But... Oh, I know that. <laughs> the Goonies. Steven Spielberg. It looks a little Who's spooky. that again? I don't know, just some guy. What do you expect to see in this film? I don't know. I just know there's some pirates or a pirate. You find treasure. And Samwise Gamgee's in it. And that's all I know about the Goonies. But he's a baby. You mean Rudy? <laughs> I should say to whom? <laughs> I'm mad at you. <laughs> make it to the end? This is the end. <laughs> so, you finally saw the game <laughs> after all those years, a lifetime. 29 years. Of waiting to see the Goonies. You just watch the entire film. <laughs> yeah. Was, was it worth the wait? It was really good. <laughs> what was your favorite part? Um, okay. Well, I like the house um, and the Rube Goldberg machine. And there's a kid with all the gadgets and his uh -huh. trench coat. What part of the movie is that? The beginning. What was your favorite part from, I don't know, let's say the middle of the film? Is the part where the guy stole that little girl's bike the middle? And his tires were flat and he just took the little girl off the bike and just pedaled out of there. That was pretty good. I don't know, to be honest, I woke up and there was like an egg-shaped bald guy there. That was it, that's, <laughs> that's the whole movie. I liked when they had that little skull thing and they fit it onto a thing. And then what happened? They're running away. They're running away from those guys. Yeah, who were those guys? I don't know, they got them from prison. They got him from prison. Wait, are those the pirates? Who are the pirates? What? Yeah, the, the guys in prison were the pirates. Okay, modern day pirates. No, they were the original pirates. Wait, what? No, they're not. They're still gold, but they're Italians now. Well, Italians live a long time. Well, that wine. Wait, those are really the 400 year old pirates? Yeah. That's not true. I'm so confused. What did they do with all the gold they found? They just found a bag of gems. They, the dad paid off his debt so they could live in their cool house. What were so they gonna do with the house? Knock it down for like a country club or something. Remember that weird thing that happened to the country club? No. Wait, so there's an actual country club in it? This movie is that. Twists and turns. Who is your favorite character? Not freaking Corey Feldman. He was a he was a, a dick. It's cliche, but Sean Astin's character was super cute. I really liked that kid. And Home Slice in the trench coat from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Those two were Thanos. He's in this movie? Wait, is he the brother? Who is he? He's a chubby kid. That's not him. What? What? Yeah. That's him? That's Josh Berlin or whatever? I see no resemblance. And he like 6'4 right. and purple. A lot's changed. Oh, and there's some girls in this movie. When did they get in this movie? Like, I swear, like one second, they're in the movie, but like five minutes ago, they were not in the movie. Okay, and also, let me just like 
oh, we all got to go to the bathroom. Oh, girls that way. Boys this way. I'm going this way. The men's room. What is that about? Okay, too much. I thought he was going to spy on the girls while they're peeing, and I was like, excuse me. But turns out he was just making some dude joke. The movie, the movie was cute. Yeah, it had action, adventure. Pirates. Romance. Wait, there was a part where someone kissed someone. I was like... The, the girl k- kissed Sean Astin. Mm, that was it. I remember that mm. happening. And I remember at the He end. was a child. Yeah. And I like that he just tossed it over his shoulder like he wasn't going to need his inhaler. Like, it's a big commitment. Uh... <laughs> He probably should have still taken that with him. He didn't have an asthma attack in the movie, did he? So you have one of those? He did. Are you lying? No. <laughs> Wait, he did have one? I've, I don't know what you're lying about and what you're truthing about. Okay, so verdict? My verdict. Great movie, perfect for fall. I love what I think is a New England coast, but I don't know actually. Great family fun. Seven sleepy pillows out of ten. Fantastic movie. Cute. Ever, everyone should watch this movie. Goonies was great. I think it's one of those movies where if you don't, if you haven't seen it, like me, you gotta see it. Also, Cindy Lauper has a song about the Goonies in it. What would you recommend the viewers who haven't seen it to uh, be excited for when they watch it? Definitely. Or the key, key moments. Key moments. When they're in a skull-shaped cave, at, and there's booby traps, you never know what you're gonna find out. It keeps you alert and on your toes. It's a very exciting movie. Do you have any uh, any critiques about mm, this film? There were a lot of people in this movie. I mm. like was very really confused when there were like three Can't girls. Keep track of all those characters. It's really hard to keep track. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I thought it was a really solid movie. Great 80s nostalgia. I see where Stranger Things took some um, they just took some ideas from. Um, but great movie. Isn't there a part where they say Goonies never say die? Yeah. Did I miss that? 